Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how you can install Kali Linux in VirtualBox and how you can use it. Now there are two options here. You can use installer images or virtual machine images to install Kali Linux in VirtualBox. We will use virtual machine images because this is quite easier. Now if you are a beginner, using this installer images can be a bit difficult for you because you have the flexibility to configure disk partitions, select software packages and customize the installation. But you have to do it all by yourself and you need to install it and configure it yourself after booting from the ISO. If you are a beginner, it will be easier to use virtual machine images because these are pre-configured and pre-installed Kali Linux images for various virtualization softwares like VirtualBox. Okay, so let's use this one for now. Click on this virtual machines. Now I'll have this link in the description below. You can just click on the link in the description below, all right? Now we are using VirtualBox, so click on VirtualBox and your installation will start. So my install folder is already here, so I'll just use this so I can stop this. Okay, now once this is downloaded, open your VirtualBox and we can use this to spin up a virtual machine using Kali Linux quickly. So let me just remove these pre-existing old machines. Now go to wherever you have downloaded your Kali Linux and I'll just move it to D drive here. And right click on this and click on extract all and this folder will be extracted. Click on extract. Let's wait till this is finished. Now, since this is, this is a very big file, it will take a few minutes to finish. Once the extraction is complete, you can go to your virtual box, click on this add button here and browse to wherever you had extracted your virtual box. And here you will see the, this .vbox file, just double click on it. Now this will contain all the required configuration to boot up your Kali Linux virtual box. Now you can just click on start and your virtual box is booting up as you can see here. Now after booting up, it will ask you for username and password. Now the default username and password is present in the VirtualBox website. So if you go here, after a while it will ask you, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Click on yes. If you go to docs here or here itself, you can see that the default credentials are Kali slash Kali. So the username is Kali and the password is also Kali. Here in the bottom taskbar, you will see this here that shows welcome to Grub, Grub loading and so on. So now. As you can see, Kali is already booted up. Now you can maximize this. And here, as you can see, Kali Linux is loading up. Now finally, Kali is booted up and it is asking for username and password. And as we have seen earlier, the default username and password are Kali and password is also Kali. Now you can log in and you'll be able to use Kali Linux, play around, use the tools. And if you're ready, you can later on install Kali Linux using the installer images. And now here we are. So you can open terminal as you can see, and you can click here to see various tools that are available in Kali Linux. Now let's run some commands and let's see if this works or not. So we are inside the terminal in Kali Linux and let's see if some commands work or not. And as you can see, the commands are working well and you can just play around and learn about Kali using this. So we have learned how we can boot up a Kali Linux virtual machine using the VirtualBox image. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.